Here in the Department of Psychology, Uppsala University, Uppsala, Sweden, Dr. Gunnar Johansson and his colleagues have been studying the nature of human perception. This film will show you some experiments on two-dimensional motion perception. Some of the patterns are generated on an oscilloscope screen, uh, some are generated by on the screen by means of a computer, and others are made by more or less conventional methods. On the oscilloscope screen, dots can be made to move independently of each other. If a common direction of motion is introduced among some dots, they are perceived as forming a group. If the motion stops, the grouping disappears. This dot is moving in an elliptical path. If additional dots, moving in horizontal paths, but synchronized with the original dot, are introduced, the original dot participates in the common motion and is now perceived as being within the group. The elliptical motion is perceptually split into a horizontal motion common to the whole group and a vertical motion performed within the group. The path of the dot is perceived as elliptical only when it is presented alone. The same perceptual analysis can be applied here. The lamp rotates around the center of the wheel and simultaneously it moves across the field of view. When the surround is darkened, the lamp is no longer seen as rotating. When a center light is added, a group is formed and the impression of rotation is once again restored. This point is part of a more complex event, which is not easily identified. However, if more dots are added, groups are formed. We see translatory motion from right to left and separate pendulum motions within the group. These motions are analyzed into a common motion of the whole group plus motions of subgroups. More than one main group of dots may be perceived.
In this film, we have been illustrating two-dimensional motion perception. What stimuli, do you think, might produce motion in depth?